a little different now. <laughs> Good times. Now we're gonna shake it up. We're gonna bring to the front of the stage, funny man Wayne Felber. Oh, sorry. I wanted to hold the mayo. Forget about it. That was just a cheesy joke. I'm kidding. How's everybody doing tonight? I only have five minutes, so I got to make this quick. And uh, I've been seeing a psychologist for about three or four months. Court ordered. Apparently. It's unacceptable to assault somebody with barbecue-covered chicken McNuggets when you're chasing them down Broadway because they cut you off in traffic. And uh, my psychologist said I need to start sharing with people my feelings and how I feel. So the first thing I'd like to talk about is how I hate fat people. <laughs> and I hate fat people that don't realize they're fat. I'm at the bank today. The lady in front of me is like 400 pounds and she has hot pink pants on and her ass says juicy. <laughs> really? You need to advertise that, you big fat bitch? I don't think so. Glad to see we got some older people here in the front row. I'm not trying to point you out. You guys having a good time? Yeah? Have some of these people offended you? No, okay, I'm just making sure. I love old people. Old people have the best advice. My grandmother... <laughs> My grandmother's 83 years old, and she says to me the other day, Grandson, if you got a fart in public, stand next to somebody poorly dressed or fat. <laughs> Have you seen me, Grandma? I say to her, she says, Yeah, why the fuck do you think I'm standing next to you? Nature Channel. I learned this week that the hyena, the female hyena, has a clitoris that can become up to one foot in length. Yeah, and it uses it to rape the male hyena to show dominance. That's why those fuckers are always laughing. You're welcome. You've been educated. How big is your clit? Speaking of big clits. more than three in inches, it's a penis, lady. Just like... I know, I'm picking on people tonight. You guys always pick on us. Like, you see fat people in public, and they're always like, hey, big guy, hey, chubby, what's going on? You got nicknames for us. What if I came up here, started calling you by what I see? Like you, camel toe. <laughs> Wouldn't be fair, would it? <laughs> what did he say? He said you, camel toe. Camel toe, that's when a woman has gap between her legs, or vagina, tight pants, you see something looks like that. Like your friend, you're in the black. Stand up. Stand up, come on. Oh my God, that's the biggest vagina I've ever seen. Another little known fact, the male penguin, 80% of the male penguins born are born gay. And I feel bad, because last week I was at the zoo and I walked by this penguin and he said, hey man, would you like me to suck your dick? And I judged him and called him a faggot. Little did I know he was born that way and he couldn't help it. I'm sorry, did I offend the gay penguins in the crowd? Yeah. What? Would you just shut the fuck up? I don't even have a comeback for you. You're just an annoying little, apparently had a couple of beers and I just turned 21 dickhead. Who hangs out with camel toe. I'm kidding. I mean, I know everybody's like, oh, the fat guy, he's kind of angry. You guys are usually jolly kind of people, aren't you? <laughs> you know why I'm angry? Because yesterday I got on the Facebook. Two things about Facebook I hate. First of all, no, I don't want to play Farmville because it's for people that want to fuck a goat. Second of all, no, I don't want to be friends with my ex-wife. I didn't even want to be married to her. They said to me, you might want to be friends with your ex-wife and a fan of Satan. That's the same people, motherfucker. Mark Zuckerberg, you and your social networking. That bitch left me for a guy she met playing internet poker. Yeah, true story. When they said all in, she didn't realize it didn't mean her big vagina. I'm not saying it's a big vagina, but having sex with my ex-wife was like doing the hokey pokey. You put one arm in, put one arm out, put one arm in and shake it all about. 
Yeah, you thought the golf oil spill was loose. And that was just your ass. Anyway, before I go, I, I'm remarried. I know a lot of you ladies, especially in this area, are like, ooh, I'm all hot and bothered down in my nethers. Camel toe all dripping, you know. I see your chair, it's wet. Yeah, but uh, I got a new wife. She's awesome. She's a little older than I am. She's a cougar. That's all right for me to say that. But uh, yeah, she's back there clapping, and yeah, she's dry. <laughs> she does the... Uh, She's going through a midlife crisis though, so she comes home the other day and says, Honey, I'm gonna vajazzle my vajayjay. Yeah. For those of you that don't know what the vajayjay is, that's the thing between a woman's leg, the vagina, or as I like to call it, the thing that keeps us from punching her in the face when she doesn't shut up during football. And this vajazzling thing is they shave it down, they put like little things on it, you know, like little earrings and knickknacks and patty wax. I said, baby, put a mint down there. When I'm done, I got fresh breath. <laughs> but the, that, the crazy thing is my wife's from the South, so she comes out of the bathroom and she had shaved her pussy like a mullet. It was all like business in the front, party in the back. She put those little Wiley Coyote mud flaps on it. When we had sex, Leonard Skinner came out, 38 specials opening the show. Big old Clint throws up a lighter because I'm doing a good job. Anyway, I'm Wayne. That's my time. Have a good night.